Welcome to Greenhouse Data's Frequently Asked Questions video series. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to assign a public IP address to your server. The first thing we want to do is see what public addresses are available for us to use. To do this, we want to click on the Administration tab, select your Virtual Data Center, and navigate to the Edge Gateways tab. Right-click on your Edge Gateway and click Properties. Click on the Sub Allocate IP Pools tab. And on the bottom, you're going to see a list of the addresses available for us to use. This may be a single address, multiple addresses, or a range. In my case, I have two public IP addresses available for me to use. You can click out of the screen and now navigate to the Org VDC Networks tab. Right-click on your routed network and click Configure Services. On the NAT tab, we're able to create source and destination NAT rules that are going to decide how we want traffic to exit and enter our network. First thing we're going to do is click Add SNAT Rule at the bottom right. In the original source IP box, we're going to put 192.168.1.10, which is the IP address of my internal server. In the translated IP range, we want to put one of our public IP addresses that's available for us to use. And click OK. This rule states that all traffic leaving the network from 192.168.1.10 is going to be translated out to 68.168.253.201. Next, we want to create a reverse of that rule so all, tra all traffic entering our network is translated back to the original IP. Click on Add DNAT Rule on the bottom right. Now this time, for the original IP, we want to put the external IP address. We do have the ability of choosing the protocol that we want. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to put any. And under Translated IP, we put the internal address of our server. Then click OK. What we've done in this configuration is essentially created a one-to-one -one NAT rule. This one-to-one -one NAT rule states that all traffic leaving the network from this server, 192.168.1.10, is going to route out at 68.168.253.201, and all traffic entering the network on this public IP address is going to go back to my internal IP address. This is a very common configuration for an internal web server or mail server. Once you're done, click OK. The changes may take a few seconds to propagate, but traffic should start flowing shortly. Thank you for watching.